Okay, hi guys. Uh, so I have um, backup is complete, and what I need to do now is I'm gonna show you guys what one, one my backup set pieces are. Um, so should be here. Backup set. So these are the backup set pieces. Um, if you guys want to get it, get a sense of what its location is, uh, just look to your. Um, when the uh, backup is complete, look for a uh, piece, a parameter called piece handle. And it's going to show you um, where this, uh, where your backup pieces are located. So uh, what I'll do now is I minimize this. It's not this one. For SID is equal to oh no. okay. This is my primary database. Um, so okay, that's fine. I can get into that. Um, what I do now is I will I will show you guys my. Again, I've already created the um, the, uh, the the directories for um, for like for all of my that that, that matches the, the one on the primary database. So what I do now is I just need to make sure about one more thing. Mm. Database. Uh, what I do now is I'll create a SP file. For I'm gonna create SP file from file and I myself they are going to clone to SP file so I will start up no mount or I just want to get I just want to transfer the um, basically uh, from using um, going to clone to the P file to the using this SP file when to change up from it or the update to Changes, yeah, they have changed that location of them. So, um, okay, that's done. Uh, what I do next is okay, you gotta go through all these things um, before you can even you know get stuff. Um, the flowing part. So let me do this. I'm gonna go to my host. I'm gonna chain this thing, and the chain, the chain of thing is gonna actually be for uh, for the the sub the sub that I created for one of two. So I'm gonna chain this thing for one of two. Okay, because I because what I'm what I'm gonna need to do is uh I need to be able to uh communicate between the two the two the two uh, instances. So. I can't do that. It's not right now. So what I'll do is I'll go to this directory. Let me go to here. In this file, what I what I'm gonna do is I'm going to um I'm going to create um a a service for this for Kronos clone uh, two. So I'm just gonna copy. I already have I already have my like the, this is this is the one for for, for clone uh, the original one. So I'm just gonna create a new one Kronos clone two and. Just to make sure, let me minimize this. Let's see if I 
This is the one that I really need. I just, as I already told you guys, the one for Toronto's. I'm just doing this to kind of get to give you guys sense, got a sense of like of what what parameters you have to um, uh, tamper with. I'm gonna save this. I'm gonna see next thing. Uh, Toronto's. There you go. I can communicate with Toronto's. I'm gonna see next thing. Toronto's. Toronto's. Yeah. There you go, I can, I can communicate with uh, Chrono CLE, so that's fine. So what I'll do now is, I will... I need to get another thing. So yeah. So... When this for the target, uh, I have to put in my my um, my de the details. So if I don't do that, then I'm gonna be able to log in. So there you go. I'm able to log into uh, Chronos. Uh, I'm able to log into the primary database from the uh, the the, 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 the um, known the clone database environment. And just to make sure, one more time before I go forward and do this. Yeah, cause I um, you gotta like I was, I, I had to, I was stuck at a point where basically um, like this wouldn't work because of what because of some of some of the um, like they, they, like some of the um directories didn't match, and then that's why my my um that's why my uh, modification kept failing, so that's fine. Minimize this. Okay. Uh, what I do now is I will uh, again. Um, yeah, I will issue the command run. Uh, allocate channel. A actually, allocate auxiliary channel. Ch1 uh, device type. Disk. Channel uh, 
there you go. So that's what I was that's what I was gonna do. So for this one. Pretty much now, it's just going to be the duplication uh, process. So, let me do this. Actually, one, mis one mistake that I might have made is um, I didn't set up a uh, an archive log location for my for uh, my my database my phone my phone my phone database. Let me do a uh, database. Let me come to log. Actually, you know what? I got rid of that. That 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 that, uh, that parameter, so that's fine. But typically, what you want to do is you want to um, if you have since you have it from the archive log mode, you just want to have that that archive log directly created. Um, and so I'm gonna pause. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna stop right here, and then the next video I'm gonna show you guys what else uh, I may have left, may have um, um, left um, behind or not done correctly. And I'm gonna show you guys what the outcome is. Thanks for watching.